Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in today's video, I am packing for a vacation. No, not some fake half-ass rendition of a vacation where we drag our kids all over the place. I'm talking an actual vacation, an international vacation where I am flying out of here with just my wife and the kids are staying home. So we have five days and four nights of a beautiful getaway. And in that regard, I am packing and getting ready for it. Now with that said, I opted to use the Skycap 46 from VanQuest as my carry-on luggage option. This bag, in my opinion, this is exactly what this is made for. Going on a trip, going someplace where you really want to have everything you need safe and protected, the ability to carry it with ease, the chance that you're going on a, call it, I'd say, semi-ambitious um, vacation where you may be moving around from place to place. You want to remain nice and agile and have the ability to carry your stuff safely, but at the same time, have something that is mobile and you can bring it exactly where you need. Now in that regard, I have the Skycap 46 ready to get loaded up here. I have a lot to do. I have to get everything prepared, but I'm going to bring you along this journey so that you can see what I'm doing to prepare myself for this trip. And then we're going to hit the airways and I will let you know what it's like to bring this Skycap 46 as my luggage option. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I have to talk about, do me a favor. Stay tuned. Now in a prior video, I took a look at the Skycap 46 as my luggage option on a road trip. A little while back, I had a trip where I used the Skycap 46 as my luggage option both for travel and also for a quick little day excursion. And overall, the Skycap 46 performed extremely well. Now if you are interested in exactly what I had for contents and also the overall design and features of the bag, please refer to that video. Now, as I mentioned on this trip, I'm getting ready for an international flight and I have all of my stuff here. So I'm going to go through it really quick just so that you get an understanding of what I'm packing. Um, but this is not really so much about the contents. I just think it's important to go through this so you get an understanding of the contents and volume of the bag. So getting into this here and opening up the admin section of the bag. I have a few important details. So the first thing is I am bringing my computer and I want to have this in the front sleeve here where I can get to it quickly. As I go through security, I know I'm going to need to dig that out of the bag. My wallet, which basically only has my ID, sliding that in this little upper pocket here. Two battery chargers for my phone and my wife's. My headphones. A book, which I have been reading, but not reading because I don't really read, but I don't know. I just bring the book with me every time I go somewhere and then don't read it. My field book, which is actually very important because this is where I keep most of the notes for my channel. Here I have all of my cables, which I think I will put in a small organizer. So yeah, and this should just hopefully sit here nicely right on the inside of the bag there, so that'll work out pretty well. All right. So now packing out the main compartment of the bag. This is where getting it right really makes a difference because that would kind of make or break the overall bulkiness. So packing it efficiently and getting things in here really nice and organized makes a big difference. So I have one, two, three, four, six, seven pairs of socks. Now this is a five day trip. So I have enough to deal with the trip and I always like to have a couple extra pairs in case I sweat during the day and I know we're gonna be doing some active stuff. So that will work out well. One, two, three, four, five, six pairs of underwear. Probably, probably one shy, but that'll do. Four pairs of shorts, five t-shirts. Oh, make that six t-shirts. Three tank tops, 
a long sleeve if I need it, mesh shorts because I plan on going to the gym, my bathing suit so I can do some swimming, one dress shirt for the night we go out and have ourselves a nice dinner, some jogging pants so at night I have some pants if I want to sleep in them or whatever, and a pair of jeans. So that should take care of my clothing. Now I do have a jacket. I also have some accessories. I have some camera gear, my tripod and my actual camera, which I have in this Maxpedition pouch here. I have a little day bag in case I need it. I have potentially some shoes. So you'll see here I am already getting quite packed out. I have a travel pillow so I can use it on the plane. Two or three of them if I could have fit it because we're traveling for a while and I really want to get some sleep so having a couple of pillows would be nice. So I'm going to work this around a little bit and see if I can get the rest of this stuff inside this bag. All right so at this point I did manage to get basically everything in my bag with the exception of eh, these shoes that to be honest with you I kind of really don't even need. Um, and my camera I'll just carry separately which is fine um, and then the other thing was I pretty much had to go without a pair of shorts and a shirt which is no big deal because where we're going if I had to I could do some laundry so um, not a big deal so um, everything did fit I got my little camera tripod I got my travel pillows got some of the little things in here that I knew I would need had all my clothes and my uh, cables and computer. And so now at this point, I'm looking online at the travel dimensions for the uh, permissible allowable carry on baggage. And so uh, looking here, it says 22 inches. So pulling this here, I don't know, 24 with the handle. Uh, but if I was to kind of squeeze the handle in, which it'll go pretty easily, I'm saying I am basically at 22 inches by 14. So here, from here to here, is um, maybe a little bit wide. This is telling me it's 16. Uh, but if I squeeze it down, will it go to 14? Yeah, probably. By 9 inches. Well, this is where I am going to run into trouble. So if I look here, this is telling me it's like at least 13. Um, and I have kind of like a book sticking out in the top here so if I pull this out that doesn't do anything for me so I think I am in a little bit of trouble this to me is not going to be a viable carry-on option and certainly not as it is packed up so I need to make decisions do I want to check this well if that's the case what am I gonna do with all my other stuff the things that are sensitive I'm gonna need to carry on so for example, I'm gonna need to carry on my computer, probably any of my electronics. Now I need my book and my travel pillows in my bag, probably my jacket in case I get chilly. So that is something that I need to consider. So that to me is a little bit of an issue. Unfortunately, a little bit unforeseen, but what are you gonna do? I mean, you go through this process to figure out if you can uh, pack the bag out the way you need and then have it function the way you need it to. Now getting into some of those details, the reality is this VanQuest Skycap 46 does have both the ability uh, to use the straps as a backpack to carry this um, and also tuck them away in the event that you do need to check the bag. So at this point I feel as though this is not necessarily going to be a carry on option and then the irony of it is once I take all the stuff out of here to carry on to the flight the bag at that point will probably be small enough to be an actual carry-on option so um, I don't know it's a little bit uh, of a conundrum and something that I just quite honestly have to deal with so at this point I've decided I'm gonna change gears completely basically plan on checking my bag so I'm gonna remove the contents that I plan on carrying onto the plane and then getting this bag prepared as a check-on option so little change of plan but hey, you know what, that's why you go through it. And I'm kind of showing you the things that are uh, worth considering. So um, just things to keep in mind. So this Skycap 46 certainly is capable of being a carry-on option, um, but I'm glad that it's versatile enough to be a check-on option as well. So at this point, I've reworked my bag. I took all the 
uh, kind of extraneous items out of here and the things that I knew I wanted to carry on to my flight. So I put them in here onto a carry-on. So this is my direct action gear, Dragon Egg. Um, I will be carrying this onto the plane and this will now be checked into the underside of the plane. And so I double checked the carry-on dimensions for my exact flight. And they say it is 10 by 16 by 24. So I basically am there on the 24 and I am pretty much right on it by the 16. But even still, as I go through this here, if I look at the dimension straight across here, it's about 11 inches. So I am close to this at this point being a viable carry-on option. Um, however, um, it just doesn't have all of my stuff. So uh, it looks to me as though this definitely would be an option for certain flights, but the dimensions do vary from flight to flight and from airline to airline. And so at this point, I think I could probably get this on. Um, but again, just the idea that, uh, you know, I don't want two carry-on options. So I am going to check this underneath. And I think this will be an interesting test, actually. It would be good to see the overall durability of the Cordura fabric. Uh, that is another nice thing that if I do actually check this underneath, you know it's going to get tossed around, thrown around a little bit. And it'll be neat to see how it survives. So um, in that regard, I do plan on removing one of the straps to carry it into the airport. So a couple last things worth noting that now that I know I am going to be checking it, I do want to use these keepers and lash everything up real nice so that there's no uh, straps dangling around. I can see the potential for things to get snagged in the uh, baggage carousel or um, you know in the conveyors and stuff like that and I do not want myself to be the reason why this thing gets hung up somewhere. So I am going to cinch everything down and then make sure I have this bag good and tidy and tightened up so that I don't cause any problems. So at this point I am getting ready to put my lock on here and I just wanted to show that this is a standard TSA compatible lock and if you're careful and line up the holes right this will fit right through there so nice little cable lock install it on there and I am good to go so at least at this point I know my bag is secure. tucked up and all the straps put away and uh, gonna check this thing and get it on the plane. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome aboard. Hey, just a friendly reminder, the back of the aircraft is still wide open for seat selection. We have so many choices back here. All these premium seat selections, window, middle, aisle seats, they are all back here. Not to mention all the awesome amenities. We have the bathroom back here. The drinks are definitely stronger. So I am at my destination after a nice flight. Uh, very uneventful, which is exactly what you want out of a flight. And so you saw the bag getting loaded onto the plane, and I am taking a look at it here after it's gone through baggage, and you know this thing's been tossed around, and huh, it is like basically brand new. I mean, that's the awesome thing about these VanQuest products. The Cordura that they use is just so tough. And, you know, that is kind of the mantra of VanQuest. I mean, tough-built gear, they absolutely got that right. So, 
um, for me, you know, I kind of wanted to show you this because uh, you know this thing's been sort of uh, run uh, upside down. You saw it getting loaded onto the plane, sort of face down here, and literally the single only thing that I can see uh, that has any sort of wear whatsoever, and I'll zoom in here, is some wear on this strap. I mean, you can see just a little bit of wear and fraying there. Uh, this thing probably got run on the uh, conveyor belt upside down there and you know it does have some wear. The buckle looks perfect uh, but the strap just got a little bit, it's not even like I'm going to say frayed, it's just a little bit worn there so not a big deal. Uh, but at this point I have uh, had myself a full day of adventure and I'm uh, looking forward to a couple more days of adventure and so where am I exactly? Well. I am in Playa del Carmen, which is uh, right near Cancun, Mexico. So uh, here I have myself a beautiful rooftop view, just a gorgeous location, absolutely beautiful, perfect weather. Some puffy clouds rolling in, not a big deal. It was a little bit humid today, uh, looked like a storm was going to blow in, but it managed to just kind of blow on past us. and. We had ourselves a gorgeous day, so um, at this point, a lot more adventure to come. Um, but as I mentioned, the Skycap 46 performing extremely well, and it's been a joy to uh, really uh, work out of. You know, so I mean, the ability to uh, get to my stuff easily, nice and organized. It's a good size. It's not too large. Kind of tucks out of the way easily. You know, I can use the straps or keep them tucked away. I'm kind of in, call it backpack mode here, which is cool. I think I'm probably gonna try to bring this with me tomorrow. We're going on some excursions and I need to bring a change of clothes and for both me and my wife. And while I'm at it, I could actually probably bring the people stuff that I'm with uh, just so that they don't need a bag too. So we'll see. Uh, I'm not too sure if I'm gonna bring this with me or not, but I guess we'll find out. So we're in the middle of a Mayan jungle right now and I can't help but think of some of these shows like, you know, Dual Survival and shows like that when they talk about how dense the jungles are. You really don't get a good sense of how dense it really is until you're kind of standing here. But oh my god, I can't even imagine trying to make my way through this. Absolutely insane.
just hucked it at you, at the guy. He made it. Now he thinks it's cool. Alright, and at this point I am back from my trip. That was a wonderful getaway, very enjoyable, excellent scenery, great company, beautiful weather, and an excellent time all around. So definitely a great time and I am super pumped to have been able to get away. But the main reason why we are here is to take a look at this VanQuest Skycap 46 that I was able to use for the entire duration of the trip. And overall, I must say this bag performed extremely well. Now again, this is not necessarily the first time that I had used it and I already had a pretty good suspicion that it would perform well. But at this point, after testing it on a couple of different trips and in different scenarios, I can say I definitely like it. There's really one fundamental problem that I have with it, actually two. Um, and for a bag like VanQuest, typically they make very modular types of bags. And this particular bag is a little less modular. They tried to go a little more gray man um, and having less molly and connection points and things like that. And I actually think, even though I completely understand why they did that, it is actually to the detriment of the overall capability of the bag. But the idea that you pack it up, bring it to your destination, and then from there you can use it on your excursions, it really needs that modularity. So I find as though um, the lack of water bottle pockets, for example, was a big detriment to me. Um, I did not have the um, like sort of pouches or webbing on the outside of this thing, um, which it was fine. Ultimately, not a big deal. It didn't bother me too much. Uh, the water definitely was a little bit of a downfall. Um, but the rest of it actually was great. Uh, the size is about perfect. Um, even though I didn't get this on the plane as a carry-on option in retrospect, uh, once I took out some of the things, I definitely would have been able to. Now, I think, um, you know, you need to think about your trip, where you're going, what types of things you need to bring with you, how bulky they're going to be, and what the regulations and capabilities to bring luggage like this onto the plane are. Um, but ultimately, when it's all said and done, uh, this certainly, once I had it in its final configuration, could have gone on the plane. Now, generally speaking, with the amount of stuff that I brought for a full five-day trip and including four nights, basically the only thing I had left was anything for warmth. Now, I didn't necessarily need to bring it, but I didn't know exactly what I was going into, so I figured having something with warmth would help. So I had this very thin um, long sleeve shirt, pair of jeans, and my sort of running pants which these do not take up a ton of room could i have cut down on a little bit of bulk sure uh, but i was better off having these with me and not needing them than to not have them and wish i did now you saw this thing getting thrown around a little bit and as i'm looking at it here you know it spent a lot of time on the front of the bag which at this point is literally perfect um, the bottom of the bag really has just some scuff marks, but nothing really significant. The sides of the bag are perfect. The handles are in great shape. No wear on anything, except for in the one case where on the webbing, like we looked at before, there is just a minor mark, and it is very minor. It's almost as if uh, this got kind of hung up on one of the conveyors. And, uh, you know, the thing about a uh, webbing like this is it will melt and this looks to be just a little bit melted at this point so um certainly not to the point where it can't be used very minimal damage uh but that is just the one thing that i could note 
So again, I'd like to say thank you very much to the people at VanQuest who provided this product for review. I very much enjoy it. I think it's on the right track. Um, I like the overall capability of it. I think some minor tweaks uh, would allow this to go just a little bit further. It doesn't even need to be full molly, maybe just some like, you know, molly light or something like that. The real thin stuff that allows you to get a couple of water bottle pockets on here. Um, but it's really kind of nitpicking to be honest with you. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.